Hey everybody, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel. My buddy Mike has a Hemiway Zebra. You know how much I love this bike. Uh, he has given me a $300 budget over the top of one of our dual battery discharge balance kits from Electric All Wheel. And we know that the Hemiway has those special cable uh, ends for the connections. So we've gone ahead and previously done a video where we hooked one of those up. He gave me a $300 budget and said, I need a lot more range. And I said, can do. So we went online from Amazon and then we found this 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. And I believe the price was 279. So just after taxes, it came in right under $300. And that is exactly where we wanted to be at 75% of the total amp hour of the Hemiway Zebra. It was a perfect grab for this bike. We will be sitting at 48 volts, 35 amp hours of battery ready to go, making this a truly long range e-bike. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this battery and take you through it, show you some of the components for you, and then we are gonna get it hooked up. We actually put a bottle cage extender, a heavy duty one, so we could mount this battery and get it onto the Hemiway Zebra. We wanted it to look good. We'll probably end up shaving off the top of this piece so that it fits quite nice. But first things first, let's take you through this battery. All right, so we're just gonna pop these tabs open it up right. you got your safety data sheet all the information contact email instructions we read them and then we're gonna pull this cap here it is um as i'm looking at it i you know i'm good with the battery the one thing i don't like on these is this cap right it seems very flimsy to me and the little plastic rod that holds it in is susceptible to being broken off they do work but i just wish that there was more of a plug style on here rather than the swivel cover cap it does have xt60 so that's good uh, one thing I did notice that the con the charger for this battery is sitting on the outside of the box, making it susceptible to an impact from the side. It looks like this thing is in good shape, so we're good there. And then they do provide you a courtesy piece for the other end of your XT60 connection in case you don't have that. When I take it out of the box, everything looks good, on off switch. And then it has a USB connector, which is really nice. This thing is a, a bit of a pain to get off though. So let me see here, I don't even know. I like this fact and then I don't like it at the same time. Uh, it, it does make me feel better about it being watertight, but it does cause problems when you're out there trying to get it loose. Uh, but what I can say positively about it is that they do come specifically keyed. And you can see here, 1169 is your keyhole. So custom keys per battery. And then it does move that lock post underneath there so that you can get it locked in on your, your bike. So let's just go ahead. Uh, one thing to note is when you're looking at these batteries, if you're unsure if it's on, you can just press the power button here. Now I had taken it out before, but press the power button and you can see that if it doesn't light up, it's off. And if it does light up, it's on, right? So you're on switch and you can test that here prior to even installing the battery. We are gonna get this plugged in. And then there you have it. You can see that it's charging now. Uh, that's exactly what we wanna see 
from this battery. That's awesome. That means we have a USB plug on the external end of all of this so that we can charge our phones while we are out there riding with our batteries. And it's not going to tax the original battery on the bike, which is even better. Ran into a bit of a snag with the cradle on this. Uh, looks like whoever assembled it left the groove for the plate on the cradle it is upside down the actual groove so you can get a screw on there is upside down so if you tried to put a screw it would sit flush and the battery would not be able to slip over the top of it so we're gonna have to flip this over it's not gonna be terribly difficult there are three small screws to remove don't lose them And then this is what's underneath. So what we're going to do is take that plate and slip it through and then flip this over and then put it back in. So now when you're here, You can actually get a screw and then it will be flush when you try to slide the battery over. So now that we've got that fixed, I'm just going to go ahead and put this back on. All right, perfect. And this area right here is our clearance measure. We just wanted to make sure we put the extender on here to move the battery cradle up so it didn't hit right here on the body. Excellent. And we previously covered our ends I just like to do this as a precautionary measure, just in case. And we'll go ahead and plug that in. Now we're going to check to see that the battery is on. It is. We'll turn it off. Go ahead and get it onto the cradle. Close that up and then we will lock this thing and it looks like we are good to go. I am happy with that install, yes sir. There we have it, this is a 48 volt 35 amp hour Hemiway truly long range e-bike. Now if we talk about the mileage percentage or the mileage range that they talk about on the website, Hemiway says 80 miles. All right, we'll run with that number. If we do that, knowing that this is 75%, we're looking at another 60 miles that we're gonna be able to get out of this thing uh, before it goes dead. And honestly, I feel like my butt might hurt more and wanna get me off of this bike before it would die out, which is awesome. Uh, the way that the dual battery discharge balancer is set up, you will need to charge both batteries separately, but as you saw before, it does come with a charger, so there is that. Uh, we are really happy with the budget amount that we got this in on, and then what we'll do is we'll put the mounting rack for the bottle cage link into the description. We'll put a link for the bike itself into the description. We'll put a link for the electric all-wheel dual battery discharge balance kit in the description, and then we'll put a link for the battery that we chose for this one as well in the description if you haven't already give us a like and subscribe check out our facebook page if you're in the tampa bay area check out ebikes of tampa bay florida 
give us some contribution in that group. Everybody just needs to come out of their shells so we can all share that e-bike experience. If you have not ridden a Hemiway Zebra, you're gonna have to get on one of these things. They look like a tank, but they drive like a Cadillac. You definitely wanna get on it. Uh, I prefer the step-through version, uh, not because I physically need it, but just because it's convenient and it's nice. And it looks like I'm gonna be able to fit my foot in through here as well, so that's even better. Subscribe, check out our TikTok page, check out our Instagram, we're working on that, don't worry. We also have a Facebook page as well, go take a look at that. We will talk to you next time.